Hello. Hey. Hi, thanks for joining us today on this Thursday. It is August 16th. We are so close to Friday. Rocking and rolling. We're going to be there before you know it. Your Friday is much better than my Friday because your Friday launches a vacation for That's you. That's right. Another vacation for her. Oh, wow. Remember when you took off the entire month of December last mm -hmm. year? That I was, don't want to hear that, it. We call that rehab. That Right, and we mm. support you Thank every you. step of the way. Mm. No. I try to space out my vacations. You do not. So that's why you ended up because, last year because, taking off all of December. Because somebody has to be here to do the show since you're absent so much. I'm not absent so much. You have an absentee problem. Do I? Yeah. Well, take it up with our corporate that gives me vacation days mm. that I get to use. Well, they give me vacation days as do well. They? But I prioritize the show. You don't. That's all there is to it. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Well, guys, I'm going to be gone all of next week. <laughs> I am. I'm going on vacation with my family. We're going to the beach. So, um, Cave Run? Cave Run. It's going to be amazing. Be great for you guys. Yeah, so I'll be off all next week, but then I'll be back after that. So, in fact, I'm just doing our show tomorrow. I'm taking a half day tomorrow. Good for you. That's right. I need the rest because the few days that I am here, you exhaust me, Lee mm -hmm. Cruz. I am exhausted. Um, it's always funny though when you take a week off, how hard it is, even just one week to get back in the swing. Well, you don't want to come back. You don't want to come back. Or, but in a way, I like to come back to work. It's like I like to get, I love vacation, but then after a while, I like to get back in the swing of things, back in my routine, back in my little safe space of here's my life, whatever. But it's funny the things you'll forget. Like you get in, you're like, I, I don't know any of my passwords, even after a week. Oh, yeah. Am I the only one that does that? Well, I have to like sit there and be like, what is my computer password? The big uh, issue for us in this business is the volume of email we receive. Oh my it gosh. It literally becomes, I don't know, I don't think it's like this in any other business because we get so much. It becomes a full-time job deleting emails. If, because you have, you can't just mass delete because then there are people that are trying to, re the problem we have is that we get everybody's emails. Uh -huh. So when it, you send something to the newsroom, we get it. We get it. So Everyone in the newsroom is on the same You email. literally will come back from vacation and have 3,500 emails to Easily. look at. Easily. And, and about four or five are ones that actually matter right. to us. Right. <laughs> but you can't just mass delete no. because you those are critical. So you got to yeah. go through. It's so annoying. Yeah, it is. And part of it, it's like you, there's always that dilemma of do I check work emails on vacation to go ahead and delete them? I do. You do? I do occasionally, but it's like even if I'm on my email on my phone for like two minutes, I feel that work stress coming back up. And I'm like, nope, can't do it. What work stress? Woman, you've got a job that anybody would envy. First, you're with me. First, let's, oh, let's just right. knock that. You're with me. But Guys. second of all, your job is to go out and have fun every day. How stressful is your job? You're not digging a ditch. Are you ready for some hot topics? Take a pill, Lee Cruz. <laughs> God. <laughs> what are you complaining I'm not, about? I'm not complaining. Stressed Any out. Any job is stressful. Not this one. Oh, my gosh. Only because you don't ever do any show prep. <laughs> I do all the show prep for us. Yeah, that's true. It is true. <laughs> but, but. This show is riding on my shoulder. Oh, my goodness. Lady. All right, I'm done with you. I'm just trying to up the ante and meet you on your level, because you're up here for some reason. I, I am not up there. I'm just, I'm irritated. You're leaving for a week, that's all. Who's going to fill in next week? Do we even know? I don't know. Hopefully it's Claire Crouch. She's Tom pretty Ackerman, good. though, is good when he's with you. Chris Love Goodman can be fun. Tom. Chris, I, yeah, I like It's hard to get him to stay an extra 30 no, minutes, do though. do it. Chris Goodman is a creature of habit. He doesn't yeah. like to stay an extra 30 minutes. Love him to death. He's such a sweetheart. Um, we had so much fun this morning. We had a great shoot today that you're going to see. We learned how to be professional dog groomers. There's a lot today. to it. Yes. So that's a story you're going to see next week. I think next Tuesday. Those people over there are artists. Yes. We went to Nash Academy here in Lexington. It's a whole grooming program where you get licensed to do this. Um, yeah. So we went actually out to the academy today and we learned how to do it and it was really fun. You know, we learned that you don't necessarily need to be certified to be a dog groomer like you do in the human hair business. Which is crazy, like honestly. The state, there's a state regulatory board that oversees, you know, salons. Right, and you can get in major trouble if right. you're not licensed. But with, in the dog hair. world, Jesse could just show up and shave a dog. And Which has happened. Put a shingle out and, you know. Right. It's not good. Yeah. So we learned how to do that. That was a ton of fun. Okay, coming up today, Lee and I are so excited Hayden's Eatery is here today oh. from the Bluegrass Stockyards. 
Even if you have no business being out at the stockyards, go there just to eat at this place. It's there for people that are out there at the sales and stuff, but it's also so super nice. We go out there just to eat. Yeah. Amazing. They're live with us today to show you what they have to offer. Am Take I, it from us. This place is am good. I, am I lying when I say they have the best omelet on the planet? No. I think we may have talked about it here before. It has the best. It's Hayden's, Hayden's omelet. It's the Hayden's omelet. They only it's have so it for good. breakfast, and it is. They do something different with it. It's so good. It's amazing. So we've got that coming up today, and then we're going to show you the recent visit we had with our friends from Madison Central High School, their cheerleading squad, their state champions, their national champions. We were like, how? I mean, what do they have there? What is they, the secret power they have to well, be I, so I know amazing? what it is. What? They work six days a week. They do. They put in six days a week. They just, they work. They're awesome. They're well, that's awesome. what it takes if you want to be a champion. You don't just run off on vacation every chance you get. You put in the work. Okay. I don't. Now, are we ready for hot topics? <laughs> and yes, Lee, I read over these as part of show prep. I understand you did as well. No. Okay. All I was right. busy building something to show later. Were you building a shed? Otherwise, I'm not interested. No, I, was, I was building an imaginary world. Oh, well. All right, so we are going to start with some very sad news. You may have heard this just came out within the last hour, hour and a half. Aretha Franklin has passed away. It is now official. I didn't know pancreatic cancer. I didn't know it was that. I, I, I didn't know. know either. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know that that was really public, but her family has said that. Her career, as you know, spanned more than five decades. She recorded 40 albums. She had 40 songs on the top 40 charts, more than any other female artist ever. Franklin was the first female inductee into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. She also received the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2005. Aretha Franklin is survived by four sons, just 76 years old. Yeah. You, this is so sad. Do you know, I just found this out a minute ago, this is the same date that Elvis died. It is. So you've got the King of Rock and Roll and the Queen of Soul both August left 16. us on August 16th. Wow, you're right. Someone had just told me in the newsroom a minute ago um, that, yeah, today's the 41st anniversary of Elvis's death. And, yeah, I wasn't thinking, Aretha, wow. Yeah. What a big day this is, August 16th. Yeah, we'd heard this week it was one of those kind of knew it was coming. Her family had said mm -hmm. she was in hospice care, but still mm -hmm. it's just like, what a legend she is. Yeah. Gosh. So. Well, now there was some parents that celebrated the kids leaving for college with a funny empty nest picture. Oh. <laughs> um, Vicki Piper's second and youngest child is headed to college this fall. Piper and her husband Jeff celebrated by posing with an empty nest and sign reading Empty Nest 2018. Oh. The couple's been married for nearly 25 years. They say they're pumped to make new memories together. They posted the picture to Facebook. They received more than 76,000 likes and 16,000 shares. I love this because this looks like so many pregnancy announcement photos that you see. I've been <laughs> no, on no, first glance. It. You're like, they're pregnant? We, we talked no, to a, empty a mutual friend of ours yesterday who just has this same situation. Where she was saying goodbye. Oh, took, yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Their youngest Her youngest college. was, yeah, moving them into UK. Mm -hmm. We were like, what are you, you going to do? And so we said we'd come over and hang out with That's she right. and her husband. She didn't seem... To I'm want us to do that. About that. Yeah. I don't know, it's weird. Um, so you've got to see this video. It's a video starring Bill Murray that has gone viral this week. It features comedian Dan White's spoof skit with the star. The two met at a 10K in Chicago on Sunday of this week. White shares some of Murray's accomplishments in the video, talking about all the films he's been in. Right when he's about to say the famous line, live from New York, it's set. Take a look. Hello, my followers. I'm here with legendary comedian, movie star uh, Bill Murray. You know him from such films as The Ghostbusters and The, uh, the Ghostbusters 2. Yes. He's in all the Wes Anderson films, and we're just going to make one of my biggest dreams come true. So, ready, Bill? Yes, ready. Ready? Live from New York, it's set. <laughs> oh, it wasn't supposed to be getting hit by a car. I'm not sure what it was. I think it is. He, I think it's supposed to be as if he got hit by a car. Was it a car or, or a bike? Or you just fell or in a manhole? Yeah, I don't know what. Come true. So, ready, Bill? Yeah, ready. ready. Live from New York. It's set. <laughs> Oh, no. Okay, Bill, what a good sport. All right. Well, a runaway parrot started cursing firefighters while trying to rescue him from a rooftop. Officials tried coaxing Jesse, the bird, down. Well, that explains yeah. it. Yeah. Crews say the bird started cursing him out. Then it flew away and it finally went home. 
screw you, he's saying. Yeah, well, more than that. Who knows? Oh, uh. God. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, our last hot topic today. A Missouri woman was denied a job recently after receiving an email saying that her name was too ghetto for the company. What? Hermesha Robinson applied for a customer service job at a health clinic. She received a rejection email saying the company doesn't consider candidates that have suggestive ghetto names. Okay. What? She shared the email from the business on Facebook. As you can imagine, it's gone viral. The owner believes a former employee hacked the system and wrote the email. So okay. they're saying no, 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 no. The owner is hey, out do you know anything support. about testosterone replacement therapy for men? No, but Hermesha does. Okay. But she doesn't work here, so you can't okay. know. The owner has filed a police report and has apologized to Robinson. Hermesha says her name is a combination of her mother and father's names, Herman and Misha. Oh. Yeah. Hermesha. Hermesha. Hey. I don't get, I mean, honestly, yeah. I'm glad that wasn't the real company's email, you know, even if they are covering it up. That's why I don't put my first name on, on my applications. I love your first name. It's so nice. Mm. You don't want me to say it, though. I'm not going to do it. All right, those are our hot topics today. All right, coming up, we're learning a thing or two from our friends at Madison Central High. Yes, their championship-winning cheerleading squad invited us out to a recent practice. We're going to show you what we learned coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back.